Well, what a great hike we had today. We were hiking up around Miracle Park today and we were going over uh, what we had talked about two weeks ago mm -hmm. about holy relationships. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully you were able to join us a couple weeks ago as we were continuing this series on having a healed, holy, some people call it uh, a miracle. Mm -hmm. A miraculous a mir relationship. A miraculous relationship. Whatever you want to call it, we're calling it fun right now. <laughs> so uh, we're really enjoying the truths of A Course of Miracles here as we learn how to have a holy relationship. Through A Course of Miracles. Right. Yeah. So what, what would you say, um, we listened to our broadcast on our hike today. We took two beautiful <laughs> hikes around Miracle Park. Mm -hmm. And uh, the first hike, we listened back to that our class last two class weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And we were going, this is, this is, really, this good. is really good. Wow. Oh, wow. Who knew? There was some good stuff that came through <laughs> that. And so what, would, what was your big takeaway that you felt like you got in, mm -hmm. in listening mm -hmm. to what we were reading here? Yeah. Well, what I really got was this section really is the story of the journey of a healed relationship uh, from the Course of Miracles perspective. You know, the Course of Miracles describes the healed relationship, the holy relationship as a journey, as the spiritual journey. Mm -hmm. So it's the first thing that I had ever studied that talked about relationships as the spiritual journey. Right. You know, I've, I had always thought of like, here's relationships and here's my spirituality. Yeah. Here's my spiritual things. path. Here's my relationships. Mm -hmm. And of course, the miracles is like, actually, the spiritual path is a way you are in relationship. A relationship mm -hmm. with your source, relationship with your, you know, the people in your life. That it's all about relationship. Right. Um, the Course of Miracles says the one problem that we have as humans is that we believe in separation. That's our one problem. We believe separation is real and we believe separation is safety. And so that means that, um, but the truth so it says that our one problem is the belief in separation and the one answer uh, is the understanding of no separateness, no separation. And the Course in Miracles says that a healed relationship is a relationship that is, um, that's, that's coming from that understanding and that is practicing and trying to learn and has the goal of learning no separateness, no separation. Like, what does that mean for us? And, um, so this section in my perception just lays out the whole journey mm -hmm. that when two people decide they want spirit to be in charge of their relationship and they want to give their relationship to spirit and they want spirit's purpose for the relationship to replace their old purposes for being together. Woo. The, you know, strap in, you know, buckle your seat belts and get ready for the journey of a lifetime that you could have never taken yourself on. Um, and it's a wild journey, you know, full of twists and turns and risks and miracles. And, um, and so to me, this section is the story of that journey mm -hmm. that your relationship goes on when you say, I want God's purpose for us being together, not my old purpose for being together. That's, and so it's a wild ride. It's really very exciting and very different and scary and um, miraculous. That's what I got. Well, what I love about A Course in Miracles, whether you're doing the daily lessons or you're you know, doing random number generator and you pull up something and whatever you're studying or reading or whatever spirit taking you to study and read, mm -hmm. your life starts unveiling uh, the arena of that teaching. Mm -hmm. And when we were talking uh, a few weeks ago, we're reading and, we're, and the Course was talking about at the beginning, mm -hmm. you're going to feel like the relationship is 
is unsettling. It's unstable. Unstable. It's very distressing. Uh, uh, the word it was precarious. Or, precarious. Yeah, precarious. Unstable, dangerous. And so mm -hmm. we were chuckling as we were reading through it, going, "Yep, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. exactly how we feel. Mm -hmm. We feel like our relationship has no purpose. Mm -hmm. That it has no meaning." Mm -hmm. And uh, we should get a different relationship. Mm -hmm. We were doing all of these things, check, mm -hmm. check, 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 yep. that the Course says. And I was uh, in that stage of our studying and reading this, I was, to be honest, a little depressed because I was like, I really was feeling it. Like, mm -hmm. what is the purpose of our relationship yeah. if I'm not supposed to care about what you're doing mm -hmm. and I'm just only supposed to trust God and I'm not supposed to be concerned about not only uh, putting my happiness and joy mm -hmm. in you, mm -hmm. but then you start having an awakening not to put your happiness, joy in anything, your jobs, anything. And so you start releasing uh, everything in your life from being responsible for mm -hmm. your happiness, yes. for your joy. Right. And you have this, what the Course calls, going from... Uh, a holy instant where you're given the opportunity, okay, they're showing you you're getting a little angry right now. A you little what? A little angry. Oh, angry. Mm -hmm. Or upset mm -hmm. or, or sad or whatever ego emotions, but they're coming into your life or the situations coming into your life to, to illuminate mm -hmm. the fact that you have misplaced your trust. Right. You have misplaced your trust. Yes. And the, and the, re the fruit of that is our anger or our upsets mm -hmm. or as the Course calls it, our grievances. Right. And so I have an opportunity presented to me because I'm remembering, oh yes, I've misplaced my trust mm -hmm. and I have it in this situation or this person, mm -hmm. my beloved, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm upset because I have taken my trust from heaven mm -hmm. and put it into hell. Right, <laughs> put exactly. It, put it into anything that is limited That's right. to be able to hold my joy and happiness. Right. And so the last two weeks mm -hmm. has been uh, simply Heaven, amazing. Heaven, heavenly. Heavenly in our life. All the check marks were like, mm -hmm. and now what we're experiencing, we're going, Happiness, joy, freedom, mm -hmm. abundance, abundance, health. laughter, health. Mm -hmm. Check, check, yep. check, 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 mm -hmm. check. Yes. So the first check mark, and the course says it's only difficult. What at, at the, the beginning. beginning? Right. Exactly. And so now we're, and it was also telling us in that last uh, episode of reading and mm -hmm. studying that don't give up hope now. Now that you're at getting ready to reap the rewards mm -hmm. of your faith for putting your trust, taking it away from this person, depending on them to fulfill your happiness, right. and giving it to spirit. And now I've given it to spirit, and it says you're going to want to abandon ship, but don't do it. Hang on, hang on, mm -hmm. hang on to hang faith. On. Hang on to trusting spirit, that spirit is not going to take this lightly, That's that right. you've given your trust for happiness. In spirit's hand and it tells us all of the remedies that we're going to mm -hmm. go through you're going to be tempted to go back to your old ways which is mm -hmm. putting your trust back into them and and a couple days of trusting now i want to come back to you know checking on all my little projects grievances on, on earth mm -hmm. and make yes. sure that they're making me happy right grievances in other words yes How's my stock account looking mm -hmm. today? How's my How's my investments how's going? How's my portfolio over here looking? Mm -hmm. And is it making me happy or sad? In other words, have I re have I removed my taken back my faith that I gave spirit? I'm going to just trust you for my happiness and put it into something else. Right. And so we've been exactly what I feel the course said. Don't give up now mm -hmm. that the uh, rewards, the rewards, the rewards, the results yes. of you placing your trust in heaven and mm -hmm. not in hell right. uh, are about to be uh, realized and experienced. Mm -hmm. And boy, have we been experiencing the rewards, the rewards of the yeah. last few weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. So 
so it goes like this where two people have a relationship and um, and they have a relationship like we all learned from our past where it's all about getting uh, putting your you your happiness in the person in their behavior will you make me happy sure are you gonna make me happy sure mm -hmm. will you be responsible for my happiness and let sure. me tell you what's gonna uh, work to make me happy right and will you put your will you be responsible for my happiness of course I do I do and then of course a miracle says and then then um, Holy Spirit says actually um, uh, uh, actually the Course in Miracles then says... The dog. Yeah, got to let the dogs out. We have a puppy who needs to come Ooh, in and out. Yeah. The <laughs> um, so the, the way that the healed relationship, the new relationship begins is where the two people give their... The, the, the two people involved invite the higher mind, the higher purpose spirit to enter their relationship and replace their old reasons for being together their old purposes for their relationships was which was getting love not being love our old purposes for our relationships was I'm gonna get me some love I'm gonna get someone to make me special I don't feel enough love within myself. I don't feel special enough. And so now I'm going to go get me a relationship and they're going to make me special and they're going to give me some love, okay? Mm -hmm. um, so it says, spirit. The, the two people then invite spirit into their relationship. Go, spirit, okay. What's your purpose for being in relationship? And we give you our relationship and we ask you to be in charge of our relationship and teach us what relationships are really for, okay? The Course in Miracles teaches us how to do that. So we do that, we did that. Well, not realizing at all that as soon as you allow spirit to come in and replace your old relationship purposes with spirit's purpose for your relationship, there's your relationship's been saved, but at first, it seems like your relationship has been, is lost. Right. has been destroyed, has been blown up because now you have a new purpose, a new goal for your relationship that's in total opposition to your old purposes for being in relationship. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't feel good. It is not comfortable at all. It's, the relationship is experienced as very precarious. Because the old paradigm is how we taught ourselves to feel safe. Exactly. The old, pur the old purposes for being in relationship was this will make me feel safe. If you act like this and you do like this and you change like this and you change like that, I'll feel safe, I'll feel loved. And then our partner sacrifices and compromises and does all those things. We tell yeah. him to make, and we still don't feel safe. We're like, yeah. oh, that's not good enough. You need to change like this. Mm -hmm. And then our partner's trying to change and trying to compromise and sacrifice. You need to and work we're still not day. happy. Only work these days, this amount yes, of hours. Yes, exactly. Dress this way. And don't talk to these people. I don't people. want you seeing that person. Exactly. And uh, just control, control, Can control. Control, control, control. And we try, yeah. and we're like, okay, I'll sacrifice, and then I'll, I'll compromise. Okay, that makes All you right. uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah, that's right. And then, and then our partner still isn't happy. And so, um, so the Course in Miracles says that at the beginning of the healed relationship, the holy relationship, the relationship itself, itself feels very precarious, very distressing, disturbed, disjunctive, and that it's so distressing that immediately we, we start getting tempted to, um, the Course in Miracles says you, you, the, that you experience discomfort and distress um, and you're like, uh, there's no way our relationship as it is is going to accomplish that new goal. There's no way. Mm -hmm. um, and so then we get, we have an extreme temptation to substitute, to get rid of this person and get an, a, a relationship where our old goals would be appropriate. Or what, uh, what I heard us saying both last broadcast about mm -hmm. that is what the ego wants to do is okay so i'm gonna let's say you and i were having 
a relationship that needed healing. Yes. Let's just say a that. A special, special relationship. Let's just say that. Yeah. For, that we were having a special relationship, the old type of, the old purpose yeah, relationship. that you and I were doing that. Let's just say. Let's just pretend. Let's just say. That. Yes. For fun. Right, right. That our relationship needed healing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> pretend. Okay. All right. Okay. So our relationship needed healing. And so, uh, I take my focus off of you. Mm -hmm. My behavior. For depending on you for my happiness. Yes. And okay, you dress the way you want, go work the hours you want, do whatever you mm -hmm. feel inspired how to live your life. Yes. And boy, that is giving, in my opinion, a lot of trust. No doubt. And, and it's really making me trust God a tremendous amount. Mm -hmm. And so I had, I remember now, I, when I was going through that transition, mm -hmm. it wasn't that I was uh, trying to put it into a different relationship. Right. It was, I was finding a different, uh, I have a hobby that I like. A different special I relationship. A, it wasn't a relationship. Right, I know, but a different special relationship, like with money, your work, yeah, or something else. I had a else. hobby mm -hmm. that I uh, am very interested mm -hmm. in, and I put initially my faith and trust that, oh, this hobby is not mm -hmm. going to make me happy. Something outside yeah. of himself. I took my focus off of you, and I was pretending like I gave it to God, <laughs> but I was really uh, now directing my energy and focus mm -hmm. into this over here is going to make me Another idol. Something's got to make me happy. Outside of myself. Anything. The ego is whispering, uh, come over here. Anything but God. And check this club out. Yeah. This will be fun. Mm -hmm. Put your hope and trust and happiness mm -hmm. in that. If you don't want to put in her, I don't blame you for not wanting yeah. to put in her. I mean, she can't fulfill it anyway. Exactly. But this over here can. <laughs> sure. And the ego will come up with a hundred things. It doesn't care what you put your hope and trust in. As long as, as it's long outside of yourself. It's outside and not of God. you and not God. Yes, Your exactly. creator, your right. source. Mm -hmm. That which knows the true essence down yes. to the last drop yes. of what will make you happy exactly. and joyful. Yes. And so then I started to do it with something else, but then uh, I did quickly realize what I had done mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. the course reading. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I finally did go, okay, God, uh, I'm just going to trust you. Yeah. I'm just going to trust you. There's an old proverb, lean... Uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into your own understanding mm -hmm. and God will direct you in all of your mm -hmm. ways. Yes. And that's what this is really coming down to is is really coming back home. Yes. Coming back to your first love. To your real source of your happiness. Coming back to trusting your creator. Your primary yeah. relationship. Your primary spiritual relationship source. And source then, love. And then what we've been experiencing the last couple of weeks uh, for real is it's almost like water coming out of heaven's window pouring mm -hmm. on not only mm -hmm. our relationship mm -hmm. but our hobby yes everything mm -hmm. that's going on is yep. just blooming our friends and, and family uh, our it's, work it's been incredible yeah absolutely so. yeah the Course in Miracles says something very radically different about God um, than any of the religions or philosophies that we've all learned. And A Course in Miracles says, first thing is that God is love. That's what God is. And that the Course in Miracles says that God as love, the only thing God wants for us is ha to be happy. What we learned about God from our, all of our past religions and philosophies and cultures is that God didn't just want you to be happy. God wanted you to sacrifice. And so here, A Course in Miracles is like, you know, God just wants to make you happy. So when you give your trust to God, God's plan for your happiness, that is the only source of happiness. That is the only plan for your happiness that can ever succeed in making you happy. And... But that's the opposite of what we all learned about God. It's the opposite we've all learned about relationships. Well, we've all learned that we need to change. Yes. To 
be loved by God. Exactly. And also our relationships. And so it makes sense if I need to change, then you need to change. Exactly. And if we need to change for God's love, then of course that means that we're going to have to change for each other's love. Right. But of course, a miracle says that the only thing that can come out of that attempt or that perception, you, we need to change in order to get each other's love or we need to change in order to get God's love. The only thing that can come out of that is grievances. Yeah, because That's it. you can't be yourself. Exactly, because you, you can't be this, yourself. You have these desires to do certain things in yeah. life, but you're pulling yourself back uh, constantly out of guilt mm -hmm. uh, because this, my mom's not going to like this yes. and my dad's not going to like this right. my, my partner's my not partner going to like love this, me anymore my kid's not going to like mm -hmm. this and I'm going to yeah. somebody is uh, going to make us feel guilty for being our, our true self and withdraw their love and then when somebody comes along mm -hmm. and says just be yourself yeah I'm not going to worry about I it. I just want, can you imagine? I, because I have a relationship with exactly. God. Exactly, so, so exactly. It's not based on what you're doing, and thank yes. God it's not. Exactly. Because when I used to do that, I used to get upset all the time. I was angry all the time. And the Course in Miracles in this section talks about the difference between the special relationship and the holy relationship. And the special relationship is where we're trying to change each other to get love or we're trying to change ourselves to get their love or trying to get them to change for our love. Um, the Course in Miracles calls that the special relationship and any relationship based on sacrifice, compromise, is a relationship that is based on grievances. Right. The Course in Miracles says that the special relationship is the old relationship that was all based on grievances. It was just a, a hymn of hate to the maker of special relationships, the ego. And the ego is the part of us that's always telling us how we need to change and sacrifice in order to be worthy enough to earn some love. That's right. what the ego is. You know, you're not love right now. You don't really deserve love unless you change because you are not loved. So you better you better change to be worthy of my love. And this special relationship also says that God wants you to change for you to be worthy of God's love. Right. And that's a basis of the special relationship, as the Course calls it. And it just makes sense. If we believe that God thinks that we need to change, I need to dress this way to be... You know, so God's not angry at me, or I shouldn't drink, or I shouldn't mm -hmm. smoke. Or dance, or, or, dance or, or a million things. A million things. That our culture, depending on what part of the world you live and in. And all of our religions. Tell us mm -hmm. that you have to change this way yeah. for God to love you. So yes. logic would tell us, well, God's pretty smart. And if that's how God does it, mm -hmm. you know. Then that's how love is. Then that's how love works. And that's how and love God works. God is love. Right. And love requires you to change in order for you to be loved. Mm -hmm. And so if, if that's how God does it, well, that must be the best plan out there. So I should copy that plan. Right. And yeah, you should change for me to give you my love. Right. And could you imagine you and I walking around our relationship and going, well, if you get baptized mm -hmm. and you... Uh, wear dresses be mm -hmm. only below your knees mm -hmm. or ankles, whatever, or mm -hmm. you don't dance, right. uh, you don't smoke, mm -hmm. you don't do any of these things on my Ten Commandments mm -hmm. that we both have on our ceremony. Yep. And you've got your wedding vows yes. too? Yes. Oh, here's okay. the, which is a contract. Yes. And so we make our, our deals of, okay, you, you do these don't do any of these Ten Commandments, mm -hmm. and we'll have a happy life love. It'll forever. be a match made in heaven. Because that's how God does it. Exactly. And that's how we've been taught, at least. And then we wonder why we are so unhappy in our relationships, which was supposed to make us happy. Right. You know, that's what we learn. Find somebody who'll make you happy, and you'll be ha happily ever after. That's the fantasy. And the Course in Miracles calls it the special relationship and I thought it was funny in our last broadcast because it was it was almost like I was having for the first time in three years a, a revelation of what special relationship is mm -hmm. is we were laughing and joking last broadcast that it's pretty special 
when I take my trust away from God, back from God, and mm -hmm. trusting God for my joy and happiness and peace and mm -hmm. contentment and yeah. abundance, all that, my strength, my power, my Ooh. my going, my coming, too much just pressure, put all, like of all of this trust it. into God, my Creator, yeah. my my source that would know best, and it's pretty special <laughs> for me to take that and then go. Put it on my shoulders. Here, I'm giving it to you. And put it on my shoulders. Right. And we, wow, no we've, pressure. Learned, we've learned to take that from each other. Yes, go, absolutely. Oh, okay. oh yeah. that's what I'm supposed to do in I'll a relationship. I'll be home by 6 o'clock mm -hmm. from work. I won't stay later because mm -hmm. I know that gets you bothered mm -hmm. and worried. And what am I doing out at that time? Mm -hmm. And who am I with? And so and you had this situation in your life before where mm -hmm. that... That and so I obviously am the same as that person mm -hmm. that you had back then, and so I'll behave the way that makes you feel safe. I'll change my and, behavior. And by the way, you're gonna get up early in the morning, make sure the dishes are done, right? <laughs> yeah, and, and do this and, and and cook and do the laundry. That's a and, lot of pressure because that's what makes me feel safe and happy. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that right to add to whatever else other responsibilities I've given myself: the kids, the dogs, the house, mm -hmm. my work. You know, because because they have yeah. their list of what mm -hmm. makes them happy, right. including the dogs. Right. So the special <laughs> relationship, according to Course in Miracles, is where we give each other our list of demands in the name of love, and that the two people who go, I'll accept your list of demands. Oh, and you'll accept my list of demands. It's a match made in heaven. You know, whereas of course in miracles goes, actually it's a contract made in hell. Mm -hmm. And so in the special, in the holy relationship, we take those contracts and those, those agreements that we've put, those burdens that we put on each other's shoulders in the name of love, and we take them off of each other and we give them to God. Here, God. God, you know how to make my happiness. Only your plan for my happiness, God, source love, will make me happy. And, and so that's the beginning of the healed holy relationship is where we take those contracts, those, those list of demands off of each other's shoulders and we put it, give it back to God. And that's wonderful, that's a miracle. But at first, it makes our special relationship seem incredibly scary. Mm -hmm. Because now, they, we don't have, now, who, you know, who's, now we don't know what's gonna happen. Now we're scared, now it seems very, you know, precarious. Because now you are not gonna be trying to make me happy. It's not trying so much as I'm not going to be worried. Exactly. Because I, at first it's kind of weird because you don't have that pressure on you anymore uh, that you're used to yeah. having right. of fulfilling this other person's demand. Yes. Like a terrorist. Yes. Okay, I'm going to either fulfill these demands or you're going to off with my head, you know, go find somebody else. It's kind of, yeah, yeah. exactly. But when we're giving... Yeah. When we're giving that, to, when we're taking our contract back, mm -hmm. the difference is, is when we give it to God, we're not giving God a contract. We're yeah. not giving God our Ten Commandments right. and saying, well, I'm going to trust yeah. you now, God, instead or of else. Anna. But here's my, the same list I mm -hmm. gave her. Of demands. The difference is, heaven's, heaven's working is, mm -hmm. well, give me your trust yeah. don't give me your demands right. give me your trust exactly because when i i remember the day that uh i still remember the day and uh not the time but where i was in my vehicle where i just broke down with heaven and said god you know this relationship is in trouble mm -hmm. and uh i've tried this i've tried that and we're spiritual teachers and Dang it, if we can't make it work, <laughs> wow, you know, what relationship am I going to go to from here? And, but the trick was, and I didn't know the power, the such power of it mm -hmm. at the time, mm -hmm. was I finally said, God, I give you this relationship, mm -hmm. and whether we stay together or not will not be the basis for me mm -hmm. trusting you. Yeah. Wherever mm -hmm. that trust takes me mm -hmm. from here, uh, I'm gonna go with you, not with the relationship. Mm -hmm. And I'm, and if we're not together, I'm going to trust you that mm -hmm. you have a plan, yes. a purpose, and a function that 
I wasn't seeing and it's going to be over here. Mm -hmm. It's going to be this. But I know this much, it's going to be with you, God. And it's going to be good. And it's going to be good. It'll make me happy. And in that decision, God took this rocky, mm -hmm. at the time, relationship and just lifted it up because mm -hmm. she did the same thing mm -hmm. and just brought it together and it's just been one fireworks of explosion of miracles of mm -hmm. and the beginning was exactly when i made that uh prayer mm -hmm. the first i'm gonna say uh three weeks to be honest was very precarious mm -hmm. of feeling like I was in an unstable relationship mm -hmm. of, oh, wait a minute, uh, why are we even together if we don't, if we're giving each other all this freedom? Mm -hmm. And then events that I could not have orchestrated on my own started happening in our life. And things started happening in our life, pulling just like, pulling us like a river mm -hmm. into it to where we're both in the last uh, week here have been looking at each other and going, is this real is life? Is this real life? Is, Are we is allowed this to have okay? this kind of Is fun? this all right? Are we breaking any laws right. of having this much happiness and abundance and joy? Yes. Yeah. It has really, and that's why I typed on my, on my description tonight, some people call it a holy relationship, some call it a healed relationship. I'm calling it a miracle. Yes, and a miraculous. It really comes off of the title of, yeah. of A Course in Miracles. Yes. Is I'm finding it to be a miracle what's happening. And now I'm encouraged that I can take this principle into all my relationships, yes. all my situations, all my experiences, uh, by not putting my trust for my happiness, happiness to be the determiner mm -hmm. of that relationship or situation. I release that relationship or situation from being, having to carry that kind of burden. Yes. And giving it to God and saying, whether I keep my job or don't keep my job, mm -hmm. whether I have my car or I don't have my car, none of these things are going to be the determiner of my joy. Exactly. And when you do that, mm -hmm. you think, well, if you, if you don't control the situation, it's very good that you're gonna be getting a disaster. Right. But that has not been our experience. Right. Our experience has been uh, heavenly, like, okay, now we're seeing the results of Holy Spirit at work in our life. Exactly. We're actually seeing the handiwork of Holy Spirit, and we're like, we could not have come up with this. This is crazy. Yes. And so, how about we get into reading? Oh. What a radical concept. I'm going to close the door because it's cold. Okay. And so why don't you take paragraph 11 and um, and then I'm going to go close the door and... Uh, We're in section tell 17. Tell it the... Oh, chapter 17 in the annotated edition. five. And uh, in section five... We're starting at paragraph 11. And if you have the blue covered edition, it's chapter 17, and it's, and it's called The Healed Relationship. If you have the blue covered edition, it's called The Healed Relationship. And I think it's section 1. And Anna thinks it's chapter 17. Section 1. Section 1. Edition. But it's called The Healed Relationship. Right. So in the annotated, chapter se or section 17... Uh, now I'm now I'm stumbling. All right, this. okay. But in the annotated, it's seventeen five, five paragraph eleven. Right, exactly. So, you are very new in the ways of salvation. Now, salvation is all of those acronyms we just gave. Real happiness, Healing, freedom, uh, holy relationship. Yeah, healed relationship, a saved relationship. Yeah. Uh, you are very new in the ways of salvation. And why are we new? Yeah. Because we are so used to, yes. you know, as we were little kids growing up, putting my trust and happiness in my bicycle. Yes. Putting my trust and happiness in, in my friend that I have at school. And then yes. I move and now I'm sad. Yes. And I just learned growing up to put my trust in all of the things outside of me. Yes. I wasn't taught, uh, don't do that because you're just setting yourself up for a big disappointment in hell. Exactly. So I love it when it's that when it says you are very new in the ways of salvation, you are very new in the ways of a healed relationship. 
Yeah, you're for very real. You're very <laughs> for new. For real. <laughs> you're very new at whether you want to admit or not and trusting God. Yeah, in your in to. your relationships, absolutely. Yes, in we're, your relationship. We're very new in the ways of trusting God for our happiness to make us happy. For real. Right. Yeah. We are not used to doing that. We are not. <laughs> and then it goes on to say, and thank you have lost your way. Yeah. And uh, we were finishing up last week reading this part of it, but uh, it's a good introduction back into where mm -hmm. we're going. And in sentence two, I, I find it hilarious. Your way is lost. Yes. Your way is lost because your way was putting your trust into your partner, yeah. into your job or mm -hmm. whatever. It's something outside of you. Something outside your of your happiness. And the Course is trying to tell us, uh, you are like just wandering around yeah, in the desert circles. for 40 years mm -hmm. in a circle. Yeah. Your way is lost. Yes. But think not this is lost. Yeah. Think not that doing all of that is lost. Yeah, to lose your old way of happiness that never worked, um, that's not a loss. No. That's, you're really being saved even though you don't realize it. Yeah. You're really entering into the promised land. Yes. A new, uh, a new experience. Yes. And I'll tell you what, uh, the experience that we've been having lately, uh, even though it was so scary at first because I didn't, I just really did not mm -hmm. feel safe. You remember in that broadcast I said to you, I just don't trust you. And he's like, he said, <laughs> I've never trusted you. Yeah. And I'm like, I know. I know. It's obvious. It's ap <laughs> after that broadcast, we were talking about that. And I said, well, just being honest. I know. I mean, and I was like, thank you very much. That was like, that was like the beginning of the healed relationship when you were telling yeah. me the truth. Because as long as you're putting your trust in me and my behavior for your happiness, the truth is, is that you could never trust me. Yeah, because there's too it, many times, yeah. especially at our age, there's too many times in our relationship where that has never worked out. It's never it's worked never out. It's never worked out. And so I, we tend to feel like I need to really be watching over control you to make sure you're not doing anything. Are we in, really in the kind of relationship that I think we are mm -hmm. in? Or do I have a Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde on my hands, which I've had before? And so it's like, you spend years trying to figure out where you're at in this relationship and, you and spend, is it safe. And you spend years trying to control mm -hmm. the relationship and the other person and yourself. And thinking, well, if I can just control them well enough and mm -hmm. I can control myself well enough and they can control me well enough, then we'll be happy. Yeah. We'll have the, you know, match made in heaven yeah. happily ever after. But, it, you know, that's just fear. Right. That's just fear. That's us putting our trust in uh, something outside of ourselves, including each other's bodies. Right, which really is a false idol. And it's a, it's a false idol. And The Course of Miracles says, and idols fall, that's all they do. How does it say it that you will cry every time? It says, you will weep each time yeah. an idol falls. You will every weep. time you are putting your happiness outside of yourself, even if it's in your soulmate, you will weep because idols cannot make you happy and they will fall because they're idols. They're not right. real. They're not true. And um, he says, you will weep every time an idol falls. And in a special relationship, you're weeping a lot. Yes. You're, you're gnashing, you're weeping, you're angry, all, and then broken into by periods in which you seem to be happy. Right. But it says you must understand that the special relationship entails a great amount of pain and grievances and depression and despair and all of those negative emotions broken into by periods in which they seem, seem to be gone. That's what a special relationship is. Anytime you have a relationship where the happiness of the relationship of the two people is not based on our primary relationship with source love, it's going to be a relationship that's have a lot of pain yep. broken into by periods in which it's the pain seems it's to be gone. It's a total trap. It's for, a trap. It's a total trap mm -hmm. for eventually you're going to be in some kind of emotional pain. Oh, yes. Uh, some kind of suffering. Absolutely. Sorrow, heartache, Absolutely, whatever. yes. And so, yeah. 
your way is our way was lost. Yes. When your, we were putting our trust in each other yes. and not in our source. Our past kind of relationship is lost. Right. And in your newness, in sentence three, in your newness, mm -hmm. remember that you have started again. In our new together. type of relationship, our newness, remember we have started again together. Right. On a new path, a new way of relating. And and how have we started again? Together. By trusting yes. in source. Together. That's what we're trying to remember. Together. The new way, because yes. the old way we weren't trusting in source. We were trusting in the other. Yes. And so it's trying to tell us, remember, you've uh, started a new way. Mm -hmm. You've started again. A new path. Together. You could you could really say if you've really given your trust mm -hmm. to Creator, to God, to the universe, the source, you've really given it to your maker mm -hmm. that uh, you've been born again. Yes. Because it's not the old Greg. The old Greg was trusting Anna mm -hmm. to fulfill his happiness. Yes. The new Greg, the new reborn Greg, has has put his trust in Creator. Yes. And, so. and yes, and remember at the beginning when you're like, okay, I'm gonna put my trust in my source, my primary relationship to make me happy. It's like, <gasps> you know, you, mm -hmm. if you feel like you're now like flying without a net. Right. You know, and so it's really scary. So. You know, and remember, your partner is also put. They mm -hmm. committed to the same idea. They're flying without a yeah, safety a they, safety net. They have also, put their trust in in source also, right? And not worrying about the mm -hmm. outcome of of uh, where this relationship takes them to. Exactly. So remember yeah. that you've started again together, and take each other's hand, mm -hmm. which to me is just symbolic of. The don't abandon each other. The paragraph before yes. saying don't abandon don't each other. Don't abandon each other now. You're going to be tempted to abandon each but other. It's reiterating take each other's mm -hmm. hand and walk together along a road mm -hmm. far more familiar than you now believe. Yes. So when we get back to where we're supposed to be, uh, uh, be a place that of remembering, mm -hmm. oh yeah, uh, I used to trust God. Mm -hmm, right. I used to trust my Creator. Yes. I used to trust my source. I used to have this relationship really with God that was used awesome. To trust God. At the beginning of our relationship, mm -hmm. that's what brought us together. Yes, right. We totally abandoned ship, the world, yes. and jumped off the side rails and went, wherever I crash into mm -hmm. the ocean, God, I'm going to believe that a big whale if needed is going to come and swallow me up and mm -hmm. take me to where you want me to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that's what brought us together. That's what brought us to Miracle Part, a million mm -hmm. miraculous stories mm -hmm. at the beginning. And then slowly, mm -hmm. temptation slowly comes in. Slowly, the ego started whispering. The old way you know, calls to, to us. Put your trust into Miracle Part. Put, put your, your trust, trust into, into each other. Uh, make sure this stays the way it is mm -hmm. or you won't be happy. Control the relationship. Control, control, control. control. Miracle Park. Exactly. Exactly. And, and so take each other's hand and walk together mm -hmm. along a road far more familiar than you now believe. Mm -hmm. Is it not certain that you will remember a goal unchanged mm. throughout eternity. Oh, like, oh, this is what we've always been supposed to be doing. This is a goal that has mm. never changed throughout all, all of eternity. Yes. So from the very beginning, mm -hmm. from the very sliver of a start of eternity, mm. it was trust in the Lord God with all your heart, soul, Together. and mind. Together. Trust in the Lord God with all your heart, soul, and mind, with all your strength. Together. And uh, that is what uh, a lot has known to be one of the greatest commandments. Yes. Is to trust in the Lord with all your heart, strength. And the second one, a lot like it, to trust in your neighbor. Exactly. If I'm trusting in God, now I can do nothing but trust in right. you. Your, your doings are uh, none, of, none of my concern. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so I can totally trust whatever you're doing. God's got it in right. control. And so for for forever in our, you know, on our religious text and our mythology and our culture, it's been that the one who was like, 
I walk with God, God's will be done. You know, the prophets, the, the, the great, you know, uh, saints of God, you know, who are like, I walk with God. They've all been lonely characters. They all walked alone, okay? Mm -hmm. Our saints and our prophets and our mystics, they all walked alone, you know? So in other words, we all learn that if you want to walk with God, then you go and do it alone. None of our, in, in none of our holy books, you know, in our holy stories, do we see people who are like, you know, yeah. saints of gods and prophets and be, walking and together. Be, and be around sinners. Yeah. No, all of our saints and prophets and mystics were lonely characters. They walked alone. Of Course in Miracles is like, hey, this is a very different path where you, when you, where you're, where you're, um, uh, where you are walking with God, you are a prophet of God, a teacher of God, a mystic for God, but you're actually, you know, doing it in a relationship together. together. And that's so different than anything we've learned about the spiritual path. Yeah, we've always heard you gotta be a monk and yeah, go up into exactly. the cave for a certain amount of years yes. and never talk to anybody. By yourself. And go with them. Mm -hmm. We always heard from the past that the spiritual path is something you walk alone. And, and for b both of us, I mean, absolutely both of us, it was like, both of us, even before we got together, we were like, well, I'm all in for God. All I want is God. That's all I want. And I'm sh pretty just, sure just that means me, I'm going to be... Just me and God. And I'm pretty sure that means I'm, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. And I'm fine with that because I want God. And both of, both, both of us had decided that we were going to walk that path with for God. And and pretty we were pretty certain was, we were going to be walking alone. We mm -hmm. both had said... I don't care if I don't have another relationship ever again. I just want to serve God. That's all I want. And we're pretty sure that meant we were going to be alone and single for the rest of our life. And we were fine with that. And then, and then right after that, then we come together and we're like, whoa. Um, and so the Course in Miracles is talking about that the, that the truth is, is that the path that you walk to God, to true happiness, really is not a path you walk by yourself. And that's a radical concept. We never learned that from our history. And, you know, that's totally different than what we ourselves believed about serving God and being one with God and being a mystic and being a teacher of God. Mm -hmm. Devoting right, your well, lives to God. Right. Could you imagine Adam and Eve in the garden and, you know, we're told in the book of Genesis that God came into the garden in the cool of the eve and walked with Adam and Eve. Could you imagine if one of them, if Adam said to Eve, I just want to have a relationship with God. Or I need, you and, know what, I need some space so I can like get back God to myself. When God to, tonight in the cool of the eve to walk with us, could you just stay home? Because <laughs> I need a personal relationship mm -hmm. with God. And, yes. and you're infringing in that. Oh, I, I've said it a million times in my relationships. Like, I, I, we really can't have a relationship anymore because I really just want to like, um, I really want to pursue my spiritual path. I really want to go for it with God. And that's why we can't be in a relationship anymore. Yeah. You know, um, I've said it many times. And, and of course, in Miracles is like, no, actually, the arc of peace is entered two by two. And our relationships are, uh, as the best way to say it is, they are our mirrors yes. to constantly show us where we have our trust. Yes. Without our relationships, we don't have a, a mirror showing us, oh, I put mm -hmm. my, my trust in, in her mm -hmm. or him or them. Uh, or, or it or my football team my favorite mm -hmm. basketball team or whatever <laughs> oh no don't say that i put my hope and trust for my happiness mm -hmm. into this and look at what mm -hmm. happened yes right um so yeah we need to take each other's hand and walk together because the other person is going to show us 
uh, you have your trust in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes him our, the, our savior. Right. And help us have a healed relationship. Exactly. To keep showing us until we get to the place that we're, our trust is with our source so much that all they're showing us is that our trust is with our source mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. And our relationship becomes uh, miraculous. Yes. It becomes totally fun, miraculous. It's so freeing. I have uh, just experiencing this new walk. Uh, becomes uh, it becomes exactly that a new a new thing yes a new altogether thing I mean it, the Course in Miracles says that the holy relationship becomes the home of the Holy Spirit as Holy Spirit turns hell into heaven, heaven so on earth. heaven on earth the 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 hell of earth is transformed to heaven through a holy relationship. It seems contradictory. So uh, the Course in Miracles is saying that the relationship is transformed from hell to heaven as both people put their trust and happiness in their source, their primary relationship, but it's also saying that you don't enter the new world of heaven alone. So you have to, you can't enter the ark of peace by yourself. But at the same time, it's it's two people putting their trust and faith in their primary relationship to make them happy. So right. it's you know, so it see almost seems contradictory. Um, but it's like so we n completely need each other in order to enter the new world, mm -hmm. heaven. But at the same time, um, we have to be put both putting our trust in in our primary relationship, our source love. Right. You know, and so, and that it's like, remember the one problem, the way that the detour into fear happened was the belief in separateness. We're separate, we're different, we're not connected, we're not one. And so the holy relationship is where two people come together and see that they're not different. They are connected, they are one. Um, and, um, and that their source is God. Something that it's just interesting. Something that just really struck me is if you if I don't have my trust in Anna uh, for her to fulfill my script the way I want her to, if I have that holy instant, mm -hmm. which is when I remove my putting my trust in her mm -hmm. and putting my trust in spirit, I have switched mm -hmm. gears here. Mm -hmm. When I do that. Um, how would I be able to judge Anna now? Mm. What, oh, would, good what would there be to judge of her? Oh, wow. If I'm her fulfilling my script, mm -hmm. there would be nothing to judge. Mm -hmm. And uh, so judgment goes away. Mm -hmm. And that's the core of A Course in Miracles is uh, to stop judging others. Yes. Stop judging, stop condemning. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And it's it becomes easy not mm -hmm. to judge you mm -hmm. when I'm not putting my trust into you fulfilling yes. my happiness. Yep. I just uh, just realized that. Yeah. So ending paragraph one for you have chosen. Uh, ending paragraph 11. Or 11. Or the first paragraph mm -hmm. one. <laughs> <laughs> Moving swiftly through after, yes. <laughs> after time here. For you have chosen but the goal of God, mm -hmm. the two of you that have taken your hands together, mm -hmm. joined hands together, to go back to do something that hasn't changed since the beginning of eternity. Right. For you have chosen, the two of you, but the goal of God. Mm -hmm. The goal of God is that you trust God, mm -hmm. not in each other. Mm -hmm. That's God's goal because yes. that was established by God. Yes. So, for you have chosen, but the goal of God from which your true intent mm. <laughs> was never absent. Mm, that's what you've always wanted. Yeah. You've always wanted um, to, that your happiness have a source that cannot fail. And in a lot you've of always ways. always wanted that. A lot of ways we think we have been trusting God, but we've been taught, as the Course says, very badly. Very badly about God. Because we think uh, to trust God means 
I'll pray for this new job. Mm -hmm. And if God and gives I, it to and me. And I'm trusting God that yeah, I'm going to get this That he'll job. give it to me and it'll make me happy. In other words, I'm putting my happiness right from the beginning mm -hmm. in, in determining whether I get this job or not. Right. And the Course is going, no, that's not how you trust mm -hmm. God. The way you trust God is you give your trust to God and then you don't make bargains and agreements and Plans. the contracts and Ten Commandments with God and and thou shalt, and thou shalt not. Lots of plans. With God. You just hand your trust and say, no matter what the outcome is, mm -hmm. job or no job, relationship mm -hmm. or no relationship, mm -hmm. bank account or no, mm -hmm. uh, or a great bank account, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to trust my Creator for my happiness. And, yes. Uh -huh. And and see what that kind of trust exactly does in my relationships, my bank accounts, and my jobs, and all of it. That's what it really means when uh, we hear that um, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all else is given. Yeah, trust God first. Trust God first to make you happy, and everything will make you happy. Right. You know, you'll experience happiness everywhere. Or trust God first, and you won't have to trust anything else. And you'll be happy with everything. Because that trust will be a trust that will bring uh, uh, just a torrent mm -hmm. of abundance in, in all of And what we were laughing about this afternoon is we could not have scripted what's Absolutely. been going on in our life here in the last couple of weeks. Absolutely. You know, one of the, one of the, you know, we were like, okay, see, we're seeking first the kingdom of heaven, which means we're going to put our faith in our primary relationship to make us happy, not each other. And the next thing you know, you know, like mm -hmm. dreams that we've had all our lives, like, oh, I've always had a dream to do this, and I've always had a dream to do that. Next, next thing is manifesting on, oh, you, you've always wanted to do that? There you go. Here you go. Here's your opportunity to do the thing you've always wanted to do. Just like coincidentally, all these new people coming yeah. into our life. Mm -hmm. and, and the chance to do all these things that we always wanted to do but never thought we could do. Um, are, like, here you go. Go well, do and, it. And we didn't have to make efforts for and then it. And we didn't have... It, it was uh, delivered into our life come uh, as easily effortless. As, as the doorbell ringing and you answering it and signing. Or the phone. And mm -hmm. easier than even signing for yes, a package. You that's go, right. You get this big package and you go, sign something? No, you're good. Yeah. Uh, you don't even no. have to sign for it. Right. Exactly. So, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven means seek ye first happiness from God's plan for your happiness. There's a, the, in the workbook, there's two amazing lessons. One is, only God's plan for my happiness will work. And I want only God's plan for my happiness. Mm -hmm. And those two workbook lessons basically say that, look, only God's plan for your happiness will ever work to Which make you happy. God. Exactly. That's God's Which plan. is exactly God's plan for your happiness is you trusting that God has a plan for your happiness that cannot fail. Cannot fail. Right. Cannot fail. Okay. And that the only and that the way to receive God's plan for your happiness that cannot fail is that you don't value any other plans besides God's. Right. That's the only way you can accept the one plan for your happiness that cannot fail is don't make other plans. In a special relationship is where you go you know, make some plans for your happiness besides God's plan. Yeah. And you then know? when they don't happen, you get frustrated, angry, you get upset, angry. You, you start blaming others mm -hmm. for why your dreams aren't coming true. Mm -hmm. You and, use guilt to get right. them to try to make yeah. your plans. I had a plan and, and, and it's not happening. So I'm going to give you guilt. Right. And so that you'll make, so that you'll go along with my plan for my happiness. Mm -hmm. And even, you know, if, if I like, okay, here, I got a plan for my happiness, Greg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's hear it. I wrote okay. it all down oh, uh -huh. in my journal. Nice. I did. Wonderful. I wrote, oh. like, bef I had this, like, list, like, yes. of all the characteristics that I wanted in a relationship. Yeah. And also, I wrote down all the characteristics I wanted in my partner. Yeah. Like, the manifestation exercise mm -hmm. told me to do. I've read it three times. Yes. And here's my list. Yeah. And, um, and then 
uh, I gave it to you, and mm -hmm. you were like, sure, baby, because we're yeah, in love. I think these are all reasonable. Yeah, you were like, sure, baby, I do all these things and yeah. more. And uh, This is very reasonable compared to my list. You've read my list, Yes, right? and those were all of my plans for happiness. For happiness. And um, and you said yes. You we're we're new new relationship energy. You're like yeah, baby. I'll do all that and more. Yeah. And then you didn't do that. Oh oh. And then you tried. You're like I do this and I do that and I do this and I do that. And you worked very hard. You're very diligent. You're like amazing. Thank you. And and you know what? I still wasn't happy. What? Yeah, I know. See. And you were hmm. like, oh, I did all, I had, I did all that list. Check, yeah. check, 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 check. I did your yeah. list. And you remember how we were both adding to the list as we kept yeah, going? Yeah, and I did. And you were like, and, and Greg, if anybody's going to do a list, Greg, what? He did it all. Check, 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 check. But I still wasn't happy. Hmm. And, and then it's like, hmm, you know, no, and that's the way it is. Only God's plan for your happiness cannot fail to make you happy. And you can accept God's plan for your happiness that cannot fail if you will not uh, take try to make another plan happen. And the special relationship, the special relationship is where you're like, I have a plan for my happiness that I learned from my past, and here I'm gonna give it to you, and and then uh, and you'll do it. And that's the old, that's the special relationship. Right. Is where we both give each other our plans for happiness, and then each of us both try Which to is fulfill really that. A plan to fail. It's a, a plan to fail. It is the ultimate it's a trap. setup. It's a trap. It's, it's a trap. It's, it's a, a grievance trap. Mm -hmm. You can call it the ego. You can call it the devil. You can call it the boogeyman's plan. But, right. But uh, it's a trap. It's really a trap set up for us that we've been taught. To make sure you come up with things outside of yourself mm -hmm. to fulfill your happiness. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the ego was glad to whisper thoughts mm -hmm. and to give us ideas of how to make our plan even greater and yes. funner and better if it goes this way. Mm -hmm. And to give all of that up, that's why the... Uh, the beginning is so difficult. That's and right, because so you got to give that up. Because oh. now you're like, oh. well, if, if there's no plan for my happiness... Yeah. Uh, even the world knows no plan is a plan to fail. Exactly. If you don't have a plan, then you're mm -hmm. planning to fail. Right. But you keep forgetting and having to... It says several times here, mm -hmm. remember, mm -hmm. and it says to remember yes. that you've given your trust mm -hmm. to one who cannot fail. Exactly. And so we have to keep reminding us, oh yeah, uh, I've been saying all my mm -hmm. life I trust God. Right. I really haven't. I've been trusting in God fulfilling my plan. Mm, that's right. But now for the first time, I'm going to really trust God and then watch to mm -hmm. see what the outcome is. Exactly. And the beginning of the healed relationship is where both people go, okay, we're going to, okay, spirit, we will give up our old plans for our happiness of our relationship. Our old control. We're going to give up our old plans. You had a plan that would make you happy for the relationship. I had a plan our for the old, relationship that would control. make me happy. Our old plans for relationship, for control. Um, and uh, Spirit is like, listen, if you will give up your plans and your control for what you thought would make you happy, you'll give up your old plans, which is a big trust, a big leap of faith, and accept my plan for the happiness of your relationship, which will make you also individually happy, and then you will be happier than you ever, ever dreamed in your life, in a relationship and individually. And that's the beginning of the healed relationship where two people go, uh, uh, okay, I'll relinquish my plan, or we're gonna relinquish our old plans for you know a, a happy relationship, we're both gonna relinquish our plans. And it's terrifying. And it's like, like we said, flying without a net for mm -hmm. a while. Only says the beginning of that is the most difficult part of the journey of the whole healed Which is relationship. Which why the Course had to say over and over, don't give up now. Don't and get, it says, don't, take each other's hands. Don't abandon each other together. now. Don't give up faith now. Yeah, don't don't go, abandon be, each don't other. Don't become a monk and go run off into a cave somewhere. 
Don't abandon the relationship now that the rewards of asking for spirits plan are being introduced. Yeah, and uh, when we were on a hike today, I'm glad you said that. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm looking back at the last couple of weeks of our life and I'm realizing, wow, we gave our trust to spirit and these different characters and friends, new friends and acquaintances that have come into our life that have helped orchestrate all of these events that are now taking place with us. Uh, I can see how spirit, you know, had to get these characters in alignment with everything mm -hmm. that's going on. Mm -hmm. And so that takes in our world of reality time. Mm -hmm. And so the timing, and then it just uh, starts flooding in. And notice that when we gave our trust, Spirit didn't say, oh, and you have to start dressing this way and you have to do this and do that because now that you're trusting God, you have to behave this way. Mm -hmm. uh, none of that happened. Mm -hmm. What happened was just give your trust mm -hmm. to heaven and watch what comes. Mm -hmm. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and watch mm -hmm. what happens. And then a plan came to us that neither one of us could have figured out at all. Mm -hmm. We didn't even see it on the table as an option to, mm -mm. to be able to hand to God and say, could you make this happen? Can we happen? have this? Yeah, we didn't even know it was a can you have. It literally came to us um, and just unveiled itself without any of our doing, mm -hmm. just like uh, getting this property, the same Absolutely. story back then. We did, the phone call came to us. Absolutely. Everything start, was coming to Everything us. about Miracle Park was Seek ye first God's plan for your happiness and your relationship, and all else will be added. Greg and I had, had both had this desire, fantasy to live in the mountains, have a, a healing retreat center, you know, and then boom, it was added. It came to us. We received a phone call, hey, blah, 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 yeah. you know, and so, so really we could say, seek ye first God's plan for your happiness and all else will be added. Or trust you first God's, God's plan. plan for your happiness um, and all else will yeah. be added. Now, that's one it's 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 one thing to do that by yourself, but when you do that with another person, then literally you enter the ark of peace. You enter what a course of miracles calls another world. Mhm. Mm you enter another world when you do it with another person. You know, mm -hmm. that's the ultimate. It says relationships as a, the, the spiritual journey. Something's coming to mind as you're talking from the course, you know, the section that talks about uh, uh, where there was a ancient or past grievance mm -hmm. and now- Ancient for, hatred. Yeah, now the hatred mm -hmm. is Fulfill my plan. The Anna. grievance. Fulfill my plan, and Grievance. That's the grievance. Mm -hmm. And when an ancient hatred, hatred has now become... A present love. A present love. Which a present love is, mm -hmm. is switching that yes. holy instant to a holy relationship to trusting yes. source. Right. And it tells us in that uh, reading right there... Uh, becomes the most holy Spot. place on the on face earth. of the earth. When you remove your trust mm. from the other person mm -hmm. and give it to Creator, mm -hmm. that moment becomes mm -hmm. that you're standing literally that up on holy on holy ground. Exactly uh, becomes a holy the holiest place on earth. Mm. Because now you're doing, you're fulfilling your function. Your function mm. is to put your trust mm -hmm. in, in source. Together. 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 And when two people come together to do that, mm -hmm. uh, that, I believe, is what that part of the it, course we're exactly. talking about. becomes the most holy place on earth. On earth. Exactly. Um, that is awesome. That's incredible. I mean, it's one thing to like, oh, thy will be done. Oh, I just want your plan for my happiness, mm -hmm. God by yourself right. it's a whole nother thing to put your relationship to do that with your relationship okay god all we want is your plan mm -hmm. god instead of our plan that's a whole nother that's a whole nother thing 
Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go let the dog out again. <laughs> How about I do it and you start? Okay, okay, horrible. great. Yeah. Okay, so now we are gonna uh, start in chapter 12. And so I love Very it. Hi, Robert, lovely to see you. And Bridget, Bridget says, I made my list. That's hilarious. Yes, we've all of us in the in the new age, in the new age community have all made our list. Like, you know, this all that um, uh, manifestation work, the, um, I, I forget what it's called right now, but uh, all of, create a list of the kind of partner that you want and the kind of relationship that you want. List the characteristics of the partner you want. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, we all manifested that person and that relationship, but did it make us happy? Like here they are, and uh, and, and now were we blissfully happy all the time? Now we're like, no. no like they did this um, the other But day. then you wouldn't believe what they did, and oh my God, like blah, blah. Um, so now we're on paragraph 12. So we're chapter 17 in the annotated edition Chapter 17, Section 5, Paragraph 12. If you have the blue-covered edition, it's Chapter 17. I think it's the first section, and I don't know what paragraph it's in. Okay? But we're talking about beginning of the healed relationship. Now, when two people have done this, and they have asked that spirit's purpose for being in relationship replaces their old purpose for being in relationship, here's what happens. Throughout the entire creation, the song of freedom is heard. <laughs> wow. So what? That's a major reverberation. Right. That's a major reverberation. When two people do that and they allow their old purpose for being in relationship to be replaced by spirit's purpose for relationship, literally, this song of freedom goes out around creation. Yeah, because when we move our trust off of the other person to God, mm -hmm. we've now freed that person, that child of God, to now be as God created them. And not only have we freed our partner, but apparently we've also freed all everybody. Well, the song is heard Yes, right. Now all the world... Every corner of the world, they're like, I hear a song of freedom. Mm -hmm. I hear a song of freedom. Mm -hmm. What is that? What is I that? hear a song of freedom. What's and they're on? all the way on the other side of the earth. Or maybe they're in another galaxy. But they're hearing a song of freedom because of what we did. Because of what we did? That's crazy. How is it? That what we do in our relationship how, could go all over powerful, the earth. How, how powerful, powerful is that? To, to remove your trust in that outside of you and put it into creator. And then something goes up from our relationship all around the earth and maybe to the another galaxy. A Dang, bow, uh, there's come no, on. There's no bow speaker that can do that. Yeah, exactly. And that's profound. That is, can you imagine doing something in your relationship that is so powerful that it literally goes out around the earth and be on the earth, calling to all of creation, be free, be free. Love wants you to be free. Love wants you to be free. Love wants you to be free. Right. You know, and we uh, we in the past learned that love doesn't want you to be free. Love wants you to be enslaved. Mm -hmm. You know, l what love we wants learned, you to sacrifice. love wants you to sacrifice. And so, you know, when you and I release each other from the demand of sacrifice, that energy goes out around the earth and throughout creation, singing, singing of the freedom that love real love, source love, is offering to everyone. That's uh, and think cool. of what, That's uh, pow -pow. Think of what uh, song, singing, singing is song. a symbol of, is mm -hmm. usually joy. Rejoicing. Yeah. The song of freedom goes out throughout creation. Yeah. The family the of God. Of, the song of freedom is not uh, a funeral march. It's not a dirge of sorrow. The song of freedom is a celebrating yes. uh, tune. Song. And I think that's 
that's what the symbolism here is. Exactly. Uh, that uh, all of creation is going to be hearing mm -hmm. uh, a melody of, uh, of uh, rejoicing. Yeah, exactly. Uh, freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, real love frees you. Imagine when a country uh, gets their independence. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, and they rejoice and they're in the the singing, street, singing on the streets. And, you know, rejoicing, rejoicing, dancing. They got their freedom. Woohoo! They got their and freedom. And you don't realize when you remove your c mm -hmm. commands on this person yes. for your happiness, mm -hmm. and then move your trust from trusting them mm -hmm. to fulfill that to heaven. Exactly. That the freedom that you've given. God's child. Exactly. And the special relationship, the kind of relationship we've all experienced in our past was not freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, the old, our old relationships was a relationship where, where, you know, one's like, I'll make you happy. I'll make you happy. Then we our our relationship is cemented. And then it's like, give up your freedom for me. If you love me, mm -hmm. if you love me, give up your freedom to be yourself. Right. All right, I love you. I'll give up my freedom right. to be I'll myself. That whatever. our old, the old relationship was where we give up our freedom in the name in the name of love. It wasn't real love, but and so the holy relationship is where it we give each other real freedom. We acknowledge, you know, you're free, meaning you're innocent, you're guiltless. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Be yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't please don't sacrifice yourself. I want you to be free and to we've be been yourself. Taught to be afraid to let others Absolutely. be Absolutely. Because we've been taught that if you let them be themselves, they'll leave you. That they will leave you. They'll, they'll leave you. They'll cheat on you. Yes. They'll, steal, they'll hurt they'll you. Steal your whatever. Yeah. From they'll them. hurt you. Somehow they'll going leave to bring you. you. Some pain, sorrow. Exactly. We've you need learned. To protect yourself. Exactly. In our old relationship, freedom was the was the debt was death yeah and the holy relationship is where we um accept the freedom and give each other freedom think about uh, to be ourselves the old relationship was literally uh putting shackles on yes. your ankles called guilt putting handcuffs on your Arms mm -hmm. and your wrist. In the name of love. In the name of love. Mm -hmm. And so when we do the the mm -hmm. holy instant mm -hmm. to a holy relationship with our source, mm -hmm. now I have a relationship that's holy mm -hmm. because I have a trust that's holy. Mm -hmm. And instead of an unholy or an evil mm -hmm. way of doing things, mm -hmm. trusting you. Mm -hmm. But in that instant, <clears throat> you know, we are literally... And mm -hmm. unshackling. unshackling what I talk about on Tuesday our night, savior is we've come to mm -hmm. loosen the shackles yes. of those that have been held in exactly. captivity exactly exactly to set the captive free exactly to those that were in prison to open the doors and let them go exactly that's what our mission is and now mm -hmm. it makes total sense tonight as I'm speaking yeah. and you're speaking of course that uh I'm hearing this loud mm -hmm. and clear that that is the unshackling of those in bondage. Is you exactly. Put them, you put them in bondage. Yes, right. It's not that they were in bondage and you came along to set them mm -hmm. free. You put them in yes, bondage. Yes, exactly. By you putting your trust in them for your mm -hmm. happiness. And now you're loosening them. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I, when I say, Greg... I need you to change like this for me to feel safe and be happy and feel loved. You put another I put a on. shackle on Greg. To not be yourself. And Greg in the past learned that if you love somebody, that's what you allow that's what them you to do. do. You, become their slave. you you allow them to shackle you. And so Greg says, Well, since I love you and I don't want to lose you, I'll let you put this shackle on me. And now Greg is walking around his life like this. Trying to be happy. Trying to be loving. Trying, trying to, to be, be happy, happy like this. And that's where why his hands are tied. And that's why, of course, tell us we have grievances. And then, and then it, all these he can't, he, he can't have a shackle on him without having a grievance against me, even if he thinks yeah. he's doing it for love. What slave doesn't have a grievance against their master? Yes, truly, honestly. And then There's when no you give slave your trust that's to, like, oh, I'm so happy. I love my master. Would you give your trust to God and you're like, so what do you want me to do? You want me to dress different? You want me to put something over my head? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to 
You want me to talk? How do you want me to sacrifice you know, God? Me, you know, want me to not ever curse anymore? Mm -hmm. you, know, you don't want me right? to drink? You yep. don't want me to smoke? What do you want me to do? What, what are your rules? Yeah. And God just goes, I want you to free just, your brother. Just, uh, just trust that what's coming now to you uh, will... Yeah. We'll and, show you what I want you and, to do. And I then want God's you like, to enjoy the life that's now getting ready to unfold in your life. And I and God says, I want you to release your brother or sister from guilt. Yeah. And we're like, uh, are you sure that's God? And that's what these don't judge or you'll mm -hmm. be judged right. because if I shackle you, I have right. to get shackled too. And that's what judgment is. Because you're going to give me your demands. Now. Exactly. Special relationship is. Um, where we make demands in the name of love and we try to fulfill those demands in the name of love but you can't do that without grievances and the course of miracles says grievances and love are 100 percent incompatible can't do right. it the only real love that you will ever experience is the love that is freedom mm -hmm. the love that's what god's love is god's love is freeing you and the only love that we will ever experience with each other is God's love, which is the love of freedom, unshackling each other from the demands and the guilt mm -hmm. that we have believed that we needed to make in order to feel safe and in order to experience love. Mm -hmm. Okay, paragraph 12. Here we go. Okay, so, so the song's being heard yeah, throughout. throughout the whole of creation, the song of freedom is heard in joyous echo of our choice. Of our choice to trust God yes. and not that outside And to of unshackle each other. And it says, and when we unshackle each other, our choice to free each other and to, and to only trust in the love of our source, our primary relationship, it says, we have joined with many in the holy instant where we unshackled each other and put our trust in our primary relationship source love and all these others have joined with us in this holy instant where we freed each other from guilt by putting our trust in source love and says and don't think that y'all's choice is going to leave either one of you comfortless don't think that right. don't think that your our choice to put our trust in our source uh our source love our primary relationship know that that won't leave either of us comfortless even if the form of our relationship disintegrated mm -hmm. deciding to put our trust in god's plan for our happiness yeah. will never leave us comfortless even if the form of our relationship disintegrated yeah. and we broke up or I whatever i don't have this slave anymore yeah right and so, and you're telling me that exactly. I'm not going to be comfortless? Exactly. If you, when you release your slave, um, you can know that you will not be left comfortless. Right. You're like, well, how am I going to be happy now? I yeah. don't have somebody to do what I want them to do. Yeah. For me. Yeah. I released the, my partner from guilt. Yeah. Now I'm not making Greg feel responsible for my happiness and giving him guilt. Then... Who's, How am who's I going to do it? Who's going to make me happy? You know, who's going to be, who's going to do that? And this is saying, know that your choice to release your guilt slave called your partner from guilt will not leave you comfortless. So even if Greg was like, sayonara, baby, then that I can know that source, God, love, will never leave me comfortless. It'll be like, right. wonderful, here comes your comfort. Right. Here comes your next joy. Here comes your next abundance. Right. You've opened the door for it through your trusting and exactly. The right, the, you pick the right door. To... If you release, uh, if you stop controlling with guilt your partner, and they leave you, they go like thank you, and they're gone. You better know that what's coming next is going to be really good. Exactly. It's gonna be real comforting. It's gonna be really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, truly, if you say to somebody, "I want you to be happy above all else. I just want you to be happy. Please don't change for me. Please don't sacrifice your happiness for me. Just be happy. Be yourself. Whatever that means." And they leave you. You should know 
that what's coming next is good. It's, <laughs> it's going to be. It's not going to leave you comfortless. Woo, it's not going to leave you comfortless. The next thing that's going to arrive is going to bring you lots of comfort, and lots why of joy. Is it not going to leave you comfortless because, because I love this. Because God Himself has blessed your special relationship. Right. Wow. And so God has blessed your special relationship. So why don't you also now join in God's blessing? What does that mean? That means don't withhold your blessing, your gratitude, your appreciation upon your special relationship. Mm -hmm. Wow. So it's like God's blessed our relationship. So now we're supposed to bless yeah. our holy relationship. You could <laughs> say, in other words, the old paradigm of doing mm -hmm. it, the old way of doing it, God did not bless mm -mm. that relationship because God... God is not trying to control Anna. Right. <laughs> God has given Anna free will. God does not put shackles yes. on Anna. Right. And so when one of God's creation comes along mm -hmm. and binds up part of God's creation. With guilt. God is not. God's not like, I don't support that. Because that's not what God does. Mm -hmm. That's not how God does it. Mm -mm. God gave her free will. She can trust me or put her trust in a job or mm -hmm. in other things that might make her happy. He lets her do that mm -hmm. or put your trust in God. Mm -hmm. But he does not shackle her to force her mm -hmm. to trust God mm -hmm. for God's love. Yes. And so he totally gives her her freedom. Mm -hmm. And when I don't do that, God's not going to bless mm -hmm. that. But it's the instant that I switch, release her of the shackles of having to fulfill my script and my plan for mm -hmm. my happiness, and I just give my trust to heaven, mm -hmm. immediately God... God blesses. God, and it says mm -hmm. God himself. Mm -hmm. Just clarify. Yes. God doesn't send... Archangel Gabriel oh, yeah. mm -hmm. or Michael. Hey, yeah. Michael, go take go. care of this mm -hmm. for me. Uh, what's Bubba doing in the garage? Mm -hmm. Get him with you. Take him with you. Make mm -hmm. sure everything's good. No, God goes, just everybody step aside. Uh, I'll do it myself. And this is something that I like to do mm -hmm. myself. I like to do wow. this one myself. Woo! When, wow. When they put their trust in me, I don't need a messenger mm. to go bless their relationship. I'm going to do that myself personally. Wow. I'm not going to send a letter with my stamp, stamp on it. Mm -hmm. My goes, seal. This is a message from God. I approve blessing, this blessing. blessing. I approve this relationship. This relationship. No, Bang. God shows up himself and says, Woo. Uh, just so you know what's mm -hmm. happening, I'm here in person I myself. to bless this relationship. Whew. By the way, I heard the song that was mm -hmm. ringing out through all of uh, creation. And, of course, I heard that song impotently, and I'm here to bless this relationship. Ooh. And can you imagine what your relationship might be like when God himself blesses your relationship? Can you imagine how good that's going to be? Think about that. I love it. Allison, from hey, Australia. love. From Australia. From Australia. Thank you for Thanks sharing for that, in, Allison. Darling. Thank you for tuning in. I know you are literally on the other side, so mm -hmm. no telling what time it is there. Thank you, Allison, for commenting and letting us know that you're listening from Australia. Beautiful. And hi, Irene. Always a total pleasure and honor yes, to have you joining, you. Irene. We love your consistency, Irene. Yes. You bless us with your you really consistency do. for real. Thank you. Really you. Thank you. Absolutely. So God's joined in a and blessing mm -hmm. the relationship in person. Yes. And so what more fitting would it be to say, so join in his blessing yeah. and withhold it not upon it. So just asking us, join with God in his blessing. Yeah, you. God has blessed your relationship. Now how about you? Yeah. God has been like, hallelujah, y'all are together. Hallelujah, you're mm -hmm. together. The people I have joined, hallelujah, it's so awesome. I'm going to bless your relationship and I'm celebrating. And so how about y'all do the same? Yeah. <laughs> how I'm about sure. y'all bless your relationship also? Mm -hmm. And it says, and so in other words, God himself is thrilled that we have done what we're doing in our relationship. And God himself is blessing our holy relationship. And it's saying uh, that 
God is saying, I want y'all to bless y'all's relationship too. And which means don't condemn your holy relationship. Yeah, like this isn't going to work. God's out. blessing your relationship. Don't, and he's like, exactly. We're like, this is not going to work out. I cannot believe the way he acted today. Oh my God. He's like, did you see the way he looked at me today? Like, what kind of mood is he in today? He's saying God himself is blessing our relationship. And so also now you bless your relationship. In other words, stop condemning your relationship. Don't condemn your relationship. Well, I believe the way that we bless it, now that I'm hearing this and looking at the mm -hmm. preceding sentence, mm -hmm. is uh, by not going back and trying mm -hmm. to put my trust back into yes, this relationship. Yes, absolutely. My blessing is keeping my trust with God. Exactly. That's how I'm blessing it. Exactly. So stay focused on, on, on where you're keeping your trust, where you're mm -hmm. keeping your trust. Three days from now, right. where are you keeping your trust still? Right. And that's how you keep blessing it. Keep blessing it. Exactly. Keep blessing it. And it goes on to say also that the way to bless it is with your gratitude, your appreciation, yes. your gratitude, your appreciation. So God Himself is blessing and grateful for your relationship because it is a song of freedom that's going out throughout creation. That mm -hmm. means beyond this planet. It says creation, which is beyond the planet. Um, and it's saying that st please don't condemn your relationship. Um, bless your relationship like God does. And what that really means is be grateful to each other. Be and so um, it says don't condemn your holy relationship because, you're, because salvation and healing has come to you. And here's the instruction. Welcome salvation together because it has come to join you together in a relationship in which all of creation together is blessed mm. wow that's the instruction for what to do in your relationship so we're not just healing ourselves but uh somehow we're healing uh creation around us yes Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to let you start 13 and I'm going to go check well, with my daughter. Actually, we uh Oh, well where past, wow. Oh, okay. Well past that. It's oh, 45. All right. So it's time to stop. So we're going to end tonight here at the end of paragraph yes. 12 and hope we pick back up in paragraph 13 yes. next broadcast. Uh we really hope this has been meaningful Helpful. to you. If it hasn't, it's been meaningful for Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Uh it really has been life-changing. And the best that we can do is to encourage you mm -hmm. to, you know, give it a shot. Go mm -hmm. for, a, you know, take it out for a ride this week. Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, God, I'm, I'm having some frustrations in this relationship. And even if the other person isn't in sync with you on this idea, do it yourself mm -hmm. and watch what happens. Mm -hmm. It's still going to work. Mm -hmm. Just removing your trust in the relationship of he or she needs mm -hmm. to act this way or behave this way or whatever, whatever, mm -hmm. for my happiness, I'm going to withdraw that mm -hmm. and that's going to become scary and mm -hmm. nerve-wracking at it first. It will be challenging. It are, of course, I already told you mm -hmm. it's going to happen. Yes. And uh, so just expect it and you're going to feel threatened mm -hmm. and uh, in due time, the rewards are going to come rushing in exactly. from having made that decision. Exactly. And uh, you're going to, to witness uh, something that's going to make it easier and easier to start now applying this in all areas of your life. I don't need to trust in my job, mm -hmm. uh, my accounts, my partners, my friends, my parents, my children. I don't have to trust in any of it for my outcome of my happiness yes. i have placed it where it belongs mm -hmm. and i'm going to keep it there and wow now that i've unshackled god's creation mm -hmm. around me mm -hmm. let's see what happens when i offer freedom exactly it's now what i've given as i give so shall i receive amen i will start receiving what feels like an abundance mm -hmm. of freedom yes so yes. give it a shot Give it a whirl. Exactly. And if you are in a relationship where your partner is willing to do this, 
uh, give your relationship to spirit and say, spirit, we give you our relationship and we ask that your purpose for being in a relationship to replace our old purpose for being in a relationship and thank you. Something to try if you're, uh, if the person in your relationship is willing to try that with you. Right. Try it. See what happens. And then, uh, it will be explosive. And then hang in. It then will be explosive. Buckle your seatbelt. Yeah, belt. really hang in there. Yes. Buckle your seatbelt yes. because it, it's going to be, when you switch going the complete opposite direction mm -hmm. from trust yes. to trust, mm -hmm. when you do that, uh, Yes. Switch. Yeah. You can only imagine it's, it's going to be a wild be ride. Miraculously different. Exactly. And at first, because you're not used to operating that way in your mm -hmm. life, it's going to seem very scary because it's you're not. It's going to seem very you different. You don't feel like, uh, well, if nobody's trusting in her behavior, then mm -hmm. what the heck? Yeah. This is a setup for doom, and it's mm -hmm. a setup for freedom. Absolutely. For both of Set up for freedom for both for of people. Both of you. For and all the world through you. Yeah. So we so appreciate that you have used your precious time to join this healing circle. And um, check out, uh, we do uh, Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, and Tuesday. Monday, Tuesday Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we do classes, 7 to 8.30 uh, Mountain Standard Time, Course in Miracles, fa fabulous classes. And we just uh, invite you to join us and uh, share this class, uh, share it, sharing is caring, if you would like this message to extend around the world. And we appreciate you sharing it very much. Thank you, Bridget, so much. Yes, thank you, Bridget. It's been helpful for us yes. tremendously, too. Absolutely. In a big way. Yeah. We love you all so much, and we will see you next time we see you. We will, we will.